Hello, this is Robert with CGS. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the BIM query, which is part of the CGS Revit tools. The BIM query is where we can export data out into an Excel spreadsheet. We can modify that data. We can then push this data back into Revit and update our model. So what I'm going to use it for is I'm going to use the BIM query to create new sheets. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come down here to my sheets. And here I can see I've got AO1, 101, 102, 103, 104, and 105. So I want to create some new sheets. So I'm going to come up here to the ribbon. I'm going to go to the CGS Revit Tools tab. I'm going to go to the BIM Manager panel. And I'm going to select BIM Query. And the BIM Query dialog box comes up. And so as we can see in here, this looks like an Excel spreadsheet. Now we have the option here is we can export this data out into an Excel spreadsheet or we can make the changes right here without ever exporting it out and just apply those changes back into the model. And that's what we're going to do here today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Category and the Select Categories dialog box comes up. And there's a lot of information in here. I can do a filter here so I could type in Sheet. That's what I want to do here is I want to go to my sheets. I'm going to expand out sheets. Underneath sheets, I've got instance parameter. I've got a whole bunch of data in here. I'm going to uncheck this data because I only want a little bit of information. So I'm going to expand out identify data here. I'm going to select sheet number and sheet name. That's all I really want to see. So I'm going to go OK. And now it populates with all my sheets. So now I can see this 102, 104, 103. What I want to do is I want to create some new sheets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to copy it. So I'm going to go Control C here. And then I'm going to go Control V and Control V. I created two new sheets. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to type in new and new. So this let Revit know it's a new sheet. I'm going to give it a new name here. So I'm going to call this one Test 1. And we'll call this one Test 2. Need to give it a new name here. So it's going to call this one, um, let's call this one A002 and A003. Okay. So I've made all these changes. Once again, I can save this out as an Excel spreadsheet. All I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let's just apply and close. So I'm going to click Apply and Close. Now I come down here to my sheets, and I can see now I have an A002 test 1 and A003 test 2. I can go into those sheets, and I can see I have a border. Now I can bring in my views. This concludes this video on BIM Query, part of the CGS Revit Tools.